It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome back to day number seven of the Flavr.com 12 Days of Christmas Calendar. And it's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve to you. We're obviously not dressed to go out on the town. That, that, it's not that time yet. It's not that time. We're, this is what we do before we go. It's time to do this it's right now. It's time to do this. It's time to pregame. Then I'll get ready. <laughs> is, that, is that how you get ready? Yeah, for the 20s. <laughs> That's true, the roaring, yeah. roaring 20s. Hopefully there'll be no more uh, prohibition this 20s. I think we're past that. Day seven. Day seven. Thank you again to Flaviar for, for providing this uh, amazing box, this calendar for us. It's been great so far. We're over halfway through now. Um, you can check Not it out on uh, Flaviar.com and then you can also give them a follow on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash Flaviar. Yeah, thanks to them for sponsoring this, this whole made, shebang. They made it happen. We're not looking. Again, not looking. There's a little bit of information on the front of the because bottle. Because people want it to be even harder for us. So I, like, you know what, you guys should just not even look at the uh, look. the little information that's on the front. That's fine. I like the color of this one. It's for you all, not for us. Well, I mean, it's a little What's for awesome us. for us? It's a little for us. We get to drink. I'm thinking potentially a rye, maybe even a Canadian. I think you might be right. Uh, I got like, um, what, like an, Ar Ar uh, Arnold Palmer is hard for me to say. There's a tea. There's a tea element. But there's also a little bit of citrus happening there too. But like a pink lemonade. Yes. Did you ever have Country Time Lemonade so and it, you scooped it? The pink, pink Palmer? A, pi a pink Arnold Palmer. Yeah, that's a thing. A pink you Palmer. pink lemonade. Yeah. But yeah, the Country Time. Yeah, the scoop, scoop with mm -hmm. the powder. You know oh, it's yeah. a powdered lemonade? And yeah, it and of, it kind of uh, gets in the air. The particulates. The, and then you breathe it. Yeah. Which is, I'm sure, amazing for your lungs <laughs> <laughs> it's so good yeah no this is a sweet tea it's a tea it's a lemonade um with, it's like a herbal tea and, mm -hmm. and honey and lemon yeah, yeah and a little spice in there i have never smelled a whiskey that is giving off this much of a tea note you know i, I pick up tea it's a fairly common i guess note um but this is like yeah like I'm smelling a tea. I think there's some mintiness in there too. It's like, you know, if you ever go anywhere and you ask for a hot tea and they bring the box mm -hmm. and they open it oh, and, then, and it's like mm, all of those tea, gray. teas and you get to pick from them, but that like smell of all those sleepy time things being, <laughs> you're just listing teas that we have. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm out. That's all, time teas. That's, that's, all I, that's all I can remember. Oh, that's a great smell. Kind of like this. All right, let's see how it tastes. All right. I think you might be right on that rye. I think this is a rye. Ooh, our first rye of the calendar. We don't know that. Oh. I still get the mintiness. I still get the tea notes. Yeah. Ooh. You get. <laughs> it kind of gives me the chills. <laughs> you get more the sp spice. Yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get more spice than what the nose lets on, and it's a building, but not to a not to a high degree. No. I feel like it's it's a slow climb, but then it kind of just levels off. I feel like it's really settled. Where it could have climbed up to here. It decided to pull off right here. Mm, took a detour. Try for the summit tomorrow. Yeah. It is slowly, yeah, Creeps. <clears throat> going into the chest area. And then the finish, you get the, you get the barrel and there's a little, actually a little bit of tingliness on the side cheeks, which I wasn't expecting it for not having that impact in the very beginning. <laughs> Wait, on the side cheeks? As opposed to what other area of your cheek? The front. They're on the sides. The back cheeks, you know. Your back cheeks. Your back cheeks, your, your butt. I think that's a different cheek. That's, yeah, that's your butt. <laughs> See, I'm not the, feeling it in my side. butt. I'm feeling it on my side cheeks. That's probably intentional. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. I, yeah, I'm really getting like a cool minty herbal spice like some cloves in here, all of those things. It's like very much an herbal tea. Yeah. With the spice, like with a cinnamon stick in it or mm -hmm. something. You know, it's upon nosing mm. this, I was like, mm, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. But the more I sip it, it almost has like a comforting kind of like- Like tea? If I were not, <laughs> if I were under the weather, I would probably put this in my tea or mm -hmm. I might just sip it. Cause like- This might make, with the talking, yes. this might make a really good hot toddy. Maybe, um, you know, like when you're having trouble breathing like sinus wise and you get like something with menthol mm -hmm. or whatever and mm -hmm. it helps open up. Yeah. I feel like this has that cooling, minty, spicy kind of 
thing for the, going on. Pour this in your vaporizer. No, I'm just saying like, I think if you sipped on this while you weren't feeling well, like if you had a head cold, mm -hmm. that it might kind of give you that, Open you up. give you some relief mm. from that. A lot of times <laughs> I might, <laughs> medicinal without the, without the medicinal, medicinal taste. You don't need a prescription. Um, it's over the, over the counter, <laughs> the liquor counter. I feel like this is probably hovering around 90, maybe even 86. Mm. I could see it going as high as 94, maybe, maybe 96. Yeah. It's really easy. It's it's a it's real easy. easy sipper. It has the right flavors. Now watch us be wrong about that, but without like <laughs> um, a real strong right kick. I don't know if this is, it doesn't really taste like a barely legal rye. I feel like it is a higher it rye really rye, higher but rye. maybe just a lower proof high yeah. rye rye. Can I look at this now that we've discussed? Sure. It's a whiskey product of the US. Okay. It is 59%. So what is that? Uh, oh, we were wrong. Wow. Well, you said that I did not. It's 118. Is that right? Yeah, 118. Wow. It proof. drinks remarkably smooth for 118 It proof. is very smooth and easy for but, 118, but I I I'm getting the, this feeling, I think, is where that 118 comes in. It does explain, yeah, the, the chest feels. The good, and honestly, yeah. the side cheeks, Sarah, the side cheeks. I can't remember a time when I had so much lo localized side cheek action. Um, not using my words very well tonight. It's new, it's the last Tell day. Tell us more about your cheeks, Chad. <laughs> Did you so pinchable? It's the last day of 2019. I I can not have my words. Chad has no good words today. No good words. I'm saving it for 2020. All right, you save those for next year. I think we should reveal. Let's do it. It's a taxi. It's a taxi. This is Ironweed Rye Whiskey. Mm. Mm -mm. Boom. Boom. As we said, 118 proof. Uh, the overwhelmingly large flavor is sweet, which, I mean, with the tea and the honey and the lemon I and guess. the things. I guess. I've had sweeter. <laughs> True. Dark fruit, spicy, clove, mm. cinnamon, mm -hmm. earthy, mm -hmm. raisin, rye, mm. butterscotch. Butterscotch. I guess. If I look for it, I can find like a butterscotch candy, which would add to the sweetness. There was one there. Oh, raisin. I wasn't. I didn't get the raisin. Pick up the raisin. The cinnamon, the clove, the earthy, yes, the, the yes, fruit. Yes, yes. All of those things and the sweet. Mm -hmm. All of those play into, I think, this like tea ish eh. thing that's going on. I think we would just, we, we let the tea note kind of overshadow. If I'm looking for it, I can I can see raisin. It has the, the finish, the aftertaste of like eating a raisin. I think it's like a very specific, like a raisin brand raisin though, where yes. it's also lightly coated in sugar. Mm -hmm. It's not just a raisin. I could see that, but just like straight up raisins. I don't know. This isn't one that jumps out. Anyways, hmm. it's interesting, this little card. So again, iron weed. Uh, you can learn more about this bottle at flaviar.com. Never I think had we will have to do that. Before. Never heard of it. Yeah. Never had it. Mm. I like it. Like you said. I like it too. I feel like this would be like, we could keep this with the other medicines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Good for that, a scratchy yeah, throat day. A scratchy throat or, or a, a congested, a congested day. Yeah. And again, 118 proof. Um, it's really hiding that proof. It, it, it's doing a well, good job. Well, I think job. It, it reveals itself discreetly in other areas besides just being like, ooh, this is a higher proof. I mean, I think it's good quality. Yeah. Um, we will have to research impressive. more and find out more and maybe get a bottle of this sometime. Perhaps we will. <clears throat> Very good. All right. Yeah. Uh, thanks again to Flaviar.com for sponsoring this whole shebang. Um, again, you can go to their YouTube channel and watch some of their content. Uh, as for us, you know where to find us, whiskeyambitions.com, glassware, challenge coins, t-shirts, and patreon.com if you would like to become a patron. That's right. Sips water. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll see you next year. Yeah, we'll see you all next year. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here or Flaviar down here. There's suggestions of other videos here. We'll see you all tomorrow and next year and next decade. Until then, drink more rye.